Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and welcome to the long awaited Suits Showcase. So, I'll be breaking them down uh, into in a series of multiple videos because there'll be there's, there's so many suits in the game, they'll be breaking down into categories, just like they're categorized in Hitman 3 currently. So, this video will be covering the classic suits, and a future video will be covering Deadly Sin suits and you know, deluxe suits, uh, what's it, what else? Like they got themed suits and stuff like that. So, Every video will be a different uh, different category of suit, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. And I'll be showing you showcasing all of these suits through the Paris walkway, uh, the catwalk, and I'll be explaining what the descriptions are of each suit and explaining how to unlock the suits if you don't have them already. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have 47's signature suit, and this is like the default suit you have at the start of the game. So if you're a brand new player, uh, any player, you'll have this in your inventory. It's uh, what you wear on your first mission in Paris. Uh, well, you'll have the tuxedo, but you can have you can have a choice of the signature suit. So it's available for everybody. It's a bespoke modern suit with white point collar shirt, single color burgundy tie, and like I said, it's a default suit. It's immediately available for all players in their inventory. So. This is what it looks like in game. I actually quite rarely use it, to be honest. Um, like I said, there's such a wide selection of suits in the game. It's uh, you never really end up using the same suit more than a few occasions. But you know, this is what the signature suit looks like. So there we go. Second on this list is 47 signature suit with gloves. In a future video, I'll be shuffling all these suits up so it won't just be in like a select order. It'll be shuffled so they'll be all mixed up uh, because having the signature suit and the signature suit with gloves in the same category, obviously back to back, you know what I mean? It's pretty much the same description anyway as well. But this is 47 signature suit with gloves, uh, bespoke modern suit with black leather gloves, single color burgundy tie, white point collar shirt. And you unlock this by completing uh, the Elusive Target 3 challenge. And what that means is you have to complete, uh, I think, I believe, uh, completing nine looser targets to unlock this suit. It is quite a, a bit of a slog for that, especially at this late stage in Hitman 3's life cycle. But you need to complete nine elusive targets to unlock this uh, suit. But um, it's just exactly the same suit as the signature suit, except for you've got gloves. But if gloves mean that much to you, then um, yeah, go for it. But there's other suits in the category that look very similar to this, uh, are much easier to unlock anyway, so. So number three is the Absolution suit, so you might have guessed, this is from Hitman Absolution. It's actually a very smart, clean look of a suit, really. It's one of my favourite looks of the suits for, on 47, especially in Hitman 3. It's actually quite nice. It's a custom tailored suit with black leather gloves, scarlet tie, and a tie pin carrying the ICA logo French cuff shirt. So you unlock this by completing elusive target number one challenge, and that is by completing three elusive targets. So the signature suit gloves is uh, completing nine elusive targets. For the absolution suit, it's two, uh, th sorry, three elusive targets, my bad. So complete three elusive targets, you'll have this suit unlocked. And it is actually quite a nice suit. I don't like the driving gloves, but uh, it is what it is. It'd be cool if they had a bit of glo uh, blood on the uh, the cuff. That would be cool. But uh, I think that was an absolution, wasn't it? Yeah. Number four, we have the Blood Money suit. So, as you might have guessed, it's from Hitman Blood Money. A lot of people's favourite suit, to be honest. But I'm not a big, huge fan of it, especially the way the tie just. Uh, swings about like that um but yeah it's a black two button suit with black leather gloves pinstripe shirt and tie like i said this is a lot of people's favorite suit but i've barely ever used this suit to be honest i think it used to look a little bit different to this compared to in him i think in him and two i think this this suit here was a little bit more lighter colored than the absolution suit i think the absolution suit was more black than this but yeah you unlock this by completing elusive target 2 challenge, so that's by completing 6 elusive targets. So complete 6 elusive targets, you unlock the blood money suit. Mm -hmm. 
Next is the Phantom Suit. So this was only previously unlocked, you had able to unlock in Hitman 2, but they made it so you could unlock it in Hitman 3. However, it's a bit of a slog to actually unlock this suit. So the description is it's a classic dark suit with a charcoal grey shirt, light grey tie and driving gloves. Perfect for a Sunday drive. I remember in Hitman 2 the shirt looking more of a dark blue, almost like a navy blue. But it looks very different in Hitman 3. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm not sure why. It looked, I think it looked a lot better in Hitman 2. To be honest. Uh, but you had to unlock this suit, you need to complete 35 featured contracts on any of the first two games' maps. So any of the maps that were in Hitman 1 and any of the maps that were in Hitman 2, uh, you can complete them within Hitman 3 and you'll unlock this. 35 featured contracts is a long slog though, so it's up to you. Number six, we have the Ashen suit with gloves. It's actually a very nice looking suit overall. Uh, it's a light grey, finely tailored suit featuring a charcoal tie, black shoes and matching gloves. So if you want this suit, it's unlocked at uh, Mastery Level 20 in Dubai. So you need to complete all the challenges, well, a lot of the challenges on Dubai. Reach Mastery Level 20 on there and you'll unlock this suit to be used across whatever map or mission you want to use on. It's a very nice looking suit actually. Um, I think when you start Dubai, you start in this suit anyway, just without the gloves. It's a tradition for really for Hitman 3 suits and Hitman 3 maps. Once you reach the maximum mastery level of that map, you'll unlock that uh, that map suit. But it was a good idea overall, I think. And it's a very nice suit to boot. Next is the Undying Look. A lot of people uh, compare this to the Ashen suit, but there is differences. This the suit is a lot more lighter grey colour. The, sh uh, the shirt's a little bit different. The tie colour's different. The gloves are even different. So yeah. But this is a stylish grey suit with glossy silk with a complimentary light shirt and a dark blue tie. Black leather gloves and a matching shoes complete this exclusive look. You need to complete 12 elusive targets to unlock this suit. It's actually uh, quite a sought-after suit and it's very... Well, it's quite rare, quite rare actually, because uh, it's going to take a while to unlock, well, to beat 12 elusive targets overall to unlock this suit, yeah. But it's based on what the Undying uh, looked like in Hitman 2, so elusive target. But yeah, there is differences between his outfit and this one, but it's a nice suit overall. Number eight, we have the Suburban suit with driving gloves. Now, you may recognize this from Wilson Creek. Uh, the only difference between those suits, really, are the gloves. This one's got driving gloves. The other one's just got pure leather gloves. So the description is, is for this one, is a, it's a true classic. This fitted two-button black suit is tailored from a heavy-duty wool. Features a pure white shirt, driving gloves with a crimson striped tie for a truly timeless look. So if you want to actually unlock this suit, you have to make sure you complete an elusive target on Wittleton Creek to unlock it. I believe we only had one, which was the serial killer. So you have to keep an eye out for him to come back around again. So this might actually become a quite a rare suit to use across all the maps. But I prefer the original one with the original gloves. But um, yeah, if this is something you're looking for, then you have to look out for the serial killer, aka the sensor. Uh, take him out, you should be able to unlock this suit. They might have changed it though, but I'm not really sure. Number nine, we have the Requiem suit. And uh, yeah, you might recognize this from Hitman 1. If you had the the Requiem pack, you, if you purchased that, you'd unlock the, the Chrome Baller, the, uh, the Pale Rubber Duck, and this suit. And... Uh, I think it's free now for Hitman 3 owners, I'm not completely sure, but it's the Requiem pack you need to, own to, to get this suit. But it's a white suit with white leather gloves, bespoke pinstripe shirt with American style regimental, is it regi regimental tie, sorry, I can read that. But yeah, this is the suit that 47 wears at his funeral at the end of Hitman Blood Money. Spoilers. But yeah, I don't really like it to be honest. I don't think it looks right on him. I just, it just looks something off, looks, it just looks off about it. He looks bigger in this, like his body looks a lot bigger compared to uh, how he looks in other suits. I think it fits his Hitman 1 character on the model, but not Hitman 3. I don't know, I can't really describe it. Number 10, 
This is the Crimson Red Suit, so you might not have no I've seen this before, but uh, this is actually unlocked with the Trinity Pack pre-order bonus. So if you pre-ordered Hitman 3, you'd be able to unlock three specific suits in three different colours. This is the first one, the Crimson Red. For those who demand a bold and energetic style, this suit is a true indicator of commitment, perseverance, and dedication. So with that, you unlock, uh, I think there's a red, a red pistol as well, and a red briefcase along with this suit. Um... I don't really like it. I don't like how the suit hangs off his body like that. It's, it feels like he's wearing his dad's suit. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. But they still haven't made it available yet for Hitman 3 owners, for those that didn't pre-order the game. Which I find a bit strange. It's been, uh, is it nearly three years now? Yeah, nearly three years and we still haven't been able to unlock this yet. At least I don't think so anyway. I don't, I don't recall this being announced anyway. But yeah, I find it strange. The next one is the Premier White Suit, and it's an innovative take on a classic idea. This suit promises many years of enjoyment for its owner and continually relevant style. So again, this is going along with the, the previous Crimson Red Suit as I mentioned. This is also a part of that Trinity Pack. Uh, with this, you'll get a white baller and a white briefcase along with it. So if you want a completely white set of uh, clothing, briefcase and gun, then this is stuff for you. Actually, I don't mind this one. I don't mind it. I prefer this one to the red one anyway. I think it looks better. But the, again, it's the same problem as the, the way the, uh, the jacket just hangs off him. It just doesn't look like it fits. You know what I mean? This is the third and final one that came with that Trinity pack. This is the ultimate black suit. I do like the gold insignia of the Hitman insignia on his tie though. It's quite a nice effect. But this is a classic that will never tru truly go out of style. This suit is a true celebration of fashion and was crafted by some of the best tailors in the business with more than 20 years experience in their field. So that's the description for this suit it doesn't actually describe it but it's all basically all black with uh, black driving gloves uh, again part of the trinity pack you'll get the black baller with this as well as the uh the black briefcase it's like a matte black color on your guns by the way matte black color and a matte black uh, briefcase i look quite like the briefcase actually it's actually pretty good i recommend it This is one of the ugliest suits in the game, in my opinion. This is a, like a platform exclusive suit. Xbox will have a green version of this, and the PC ones will have the black version of this. Uh, I think the PC version does look the best, but uh, this is an exclusive white suit featuring a blue shirt, matching shoes, and a pure white tie. An absolute standout outfit. Yeah, it wouldn't have been so bad if you didn't have this ugly blue shoes. It just doesn't work. It makes 47 look like a bit of a clown, especially when you run. Um, you see this pure blue shoes. It's just hideous. It's like he's dipped his shoes in paint uh, Or something like that. I don't know. It just doesn't it just doesn't look good for me um, I don't think I've ever used this. And I don't think anyone will ever use this. It's just hideous. There's a lot better options out there This is Agent 17 signature suit. This is quite a recent one. And it's the ideal choice for, of an outfit for an obedient assassin with leather gloves, stylish sunglasses, and an orange tie. There isn't another brother who could pull off his iconic look. So if you want to get this suit, this is basically your uh, signature suit with gloves. The only difference is the color of the tie and the fact that you're wearing sunglasses. But it's a lot easier getting this suit than the signature suit of gloves. With the signature suit of gloves, you need to complete like nine elusive targets. Whereas this one, all you've got to do is complete uh, the brother from another brother challenge in Mendoza. It's really easy. I've got a guide on the channel as well if you want to go and check that out. So just search for the challenge brother from another brother challenge in Mendoza and you'll see an easy video of that and how to do it. And you'll unlock this suit. And it's not a bad uh, looking suit to be honest. It's pretty good. And lastly, in today's video, we have the Terminus suit. So, 
I think it's slightly changed from Hitman 1 to Hitman 2 to Hitman 3. Uh, not too different. It kind of looks like yeah, looks like an old school blazer, doesn't it? But this is the Terminus suit from Hitman of Absolution after you battled in the hotel, the burning hotel. So once you've come out of there, your, your suit will look a bit like this. So this is the Terminus suit. This is a custom tailored suit with a French cuff shirt, battered and bloodstained following an escape from a burning hotel. So that's the description of it. But um, I've used this a few times, but I don't think I've used it once in Hitman 3. I think this is the very first time I've actually seen it in Hitman 3. And I've got to say, it looks a little bit different to it does how it does in Hitman 1 and 2. Not com I think it's just the colour of the tie, I'm not sure. But that's the, uh, the Terminus suit. So there we go, that's going to do for this one. So the next video will be covering the formal suits. So that will be the uh, formal category. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one though. Drop a like if it did, it does help out a lot. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all the future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details. And a big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members as well. Bedry, Andrew Phillips, Wandering Wendy, Constantine Mueller, Mark Davis and Paul at home. Thank you very much for coming top tier Psycho Assassin members as well. If you want your name read out as well, you know what you got to do. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.